Gerrymandering Techniques, presented by Citizen Genius. Gerrymandering refers to intentionally creating electoral districts to give a person or group of people an electoral advantage. This video will only focus on gerrymandering techniques. To get a more complete overview of gerrymandering, check out another video. There are four main gerrymandering techniques, packing, cracking, kidnapping, and hijacking. To demonstrate each technique, I'll use a map of a sample state that receives five seats in the House of Representatives. I'll demonstrate how gerrymandering can be done by a state legislature that is controlled by one political party seeking to give itself an advantage over another party. In this sample state, the fictitious pink party is the dominant political party, so it gets to draw the lines for the electoral districts. The fictitious green party is the voting group that is being put at a disadvantage. Finally, Pink and green stick figures represent where members of the pink and green parties live. Although a combination of the techniques can be used, I'll demonstrate each individually for the sake of clarity. Now let's see how the gerrymandering techniques are done. Packing refers to putting as many voters of a specific group into as few districts as possible. When the pink party does this to the green party, like this, the green party wins two districts easily, but there aren't enough green party voters in other districts to enable it to win more. Therefore, the pink party wins three districts, while the green party wins only two. Cracking refers to dividing voters of a specific group so they are a minority in as many districts as possible. When the pink party divides the green party voters among the five districts, like this, the green party gets a majority in only one district. Consequently, the pink party wins four out of the five districts. Kidnapping involves merging two districts that were controlled by a specific group of voters, so two incumbent politicians with support from that same group of voters must compete for one seat. In this example, the pink party merges two districts that were controlled by the green party, making two green party candidates fight over one district, like this. The result is that the Green Party wins one less seat than it previously had, giving the Pink Party four seats and the Green Party only one. Hijacking means separating an incumbent candidate from his or her constituents so that he or she will compete in an election with unfamiliar voters. Let's say that in this example, there is a really popular Green Party politician who the Pink Party can't beat because everyone in the district knows and likes him. Let's even exaggerate this example and say that the Green Party politician wins his district even though it has a majority of Pink Party members. In order to beat the Green Party incumbent, the Pink Party draws a new district, like this, to force him to try to win votes from a new group of people who may not be familiar with him and his accomplishments. This causes him to lose the election in the new district. Therefore, the Pink Party wins all five seats. This has been a short overview of gerrymandering techniques presented by Citizen Genius.